Today I would like to present my effort to project each title. An interruptible power supply using double conversion technique. In the proposed UPS system, there are three converters that are designed are rectifier, sliding mode control boost converter, and inverter. First, the main power supply from the grid is set down to 24 volts by using a transformer. In order to show on and off state of the UPS system, an IP switch is connected between the main power supply and the rectifier input. And unit set signal is set to be on after the first second. This signal gate is connected right after the unit set signal generator. Thus, the switch should be turned off after the first second. This is the simulation result that shows that the switches is turned off after the first second, where the unit set signal is on at that time. For the rectifier design, a full wave rectifier is used to generate full wave rectifications of 50 Hz by wave. Pulse signal of T1 and T2 are the same, whereas the pulse signals of T3 and T4 are the same. In the simulation result, the, the rectified voltage that passed through the smoothing capacitor proposed of a take value of 22.38 volts and experience a loss of 1.61 words due to the voltage crossing through the diode. For the FMT boost converter, a closed loop controller is essential to maintain a stable output voltage of the boost converter. In the FMT con controller, there are two control, control loop, which are the outer voltage control loop and inner current control loop. The voltage is compared with the reference voltage to produce arrow, and the arrow will become the in reference inductor current while PI controller. Third, the inductor current will be, is being controlled by the inner current control loop while sliding mode. In the simulation result, there is a sudden voltage drop after the first second. This is because the main power supply is not longer provide power to the boost converter after the first second and the battery will be charged to provide power to the boost converter after the first half first after the first second. Third, the FMC boost converter required to regulate the voltage back to the reference voltage which are 24 volts. And the last one is the inverter. For inverter design, the full bridge inverter is utilized. There are four power switches open and closed alternately to produce a C waveform. The, the HPWM that makes is used to generate the gate signal of the most back in the inverter. This is the final AC waveform that produced by the UPS system with a frequency of 50 Hz. 
in order to determine the total distortion of the harmonic of the output SC waveform, SST analysis needs to be done. As a conclusion, the fundamental attitude and the total harmonic distortion of the output waveform are 24.07 words and 2.37 percent, which are acceptable as stated in the I triple E standard 519. That's all for my demo video. Thank you for watching.